A lot of people say they want their life, their career, their business to be different, to be better, to be more successful, but month after month, year after year, they remain stuck where they're at, maybe running on that golden hamster wheel where, you know, it's it's generating enough income, it's generating enough success that they don't really need to change but all along they feel unfulfilled because things are not changing yet. I'm going to help you change that today if you are feeling like you are ready to take your business and your life to the next level. So here's the thing. There's like one realization, one decision that you have to come to, that you have to make if you want to take your business and your life to the next level. And this applies across the board. It applies in almost every situation that you might find yourself in. Nothing happens without this realization. This is the specific language of this. I attribute to Mike Mandel, who teaches this as the threshold concept. And Mike has done a lot of change work. He's a professional hypnotist um, and NLP practitioner. And he says, if somebody comes to him without already being at threshold, he can't usually do much to help them because they're stuck. They're stuck in the way that they're doing things now. But if someone comes to him and is at threshold, they he can be an accelerant to the change that they want to achieve. And I found the exact same thing happens like when I've mentored copywriters, when I've helped copywriters along in their career, uh, it's the same thing. The same thing happens in entrepreneurship. The same thing happens in your, in your business, in your life, in your career. Like it happens everywhere. So this concept of threshold is when you come to a decision that all three of these things are true. Something must change. It has to be me. It has to be now. Something must change. It has to be me and it has to be now. So Let's break this down uh, point by point. Anybody can complain. Anybody can complain. And you hear a lot of people saying something must change. Something must change. Something's got to change about the way things go on around here. So people complain about how things are, about their disadvantages, about life and their situation being unfair. They want something to be different. But what you find consistent among all of this is pointing outwards, right? Uh, and so we can all decide something has to change. But if we're constantly pointing outwards for what has to change, it's not going to change our life. It's not going to take us to that next level, whatever that is for us, right? If we're pointing at somebody that we're in a relationship with, and this can be more of a, a personal relationship, it can be a professional relationship, and we want that relationship to change, if we're putting it all on them, it's not going to change. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. But it's not going to change um, within the context of, of how you want it to change and on the timeline that you want it to change. Right? So anybody can complain. And I think that most of us, like if we're getting to the point where we're thinking, oh, I want to take my business and life to the next level, we've already reached this point that something must change. Uh, it's the other two, especially this next one, that's a bit harder. So whose responsibility is change? Who is response able to create that change in the world? Like when a situation happens and a response is required, who is claiming their own ability to take response or to, to have a response to that situation? Something must change. It has to be me. It has to be me, right? I can't put this, you can't outsource success, right? This is something that I've, I've talked about a lot in the context of, of copywriting and building your career in marketing. You can't hand your, the responsibility for your success over to somebody else. I don't care where you come from. I don't care any of that, right? I, I, yes, yes. Other people can be resources. You can buy training, you can get coaching, you can get mentorship, you can get hired somewhere where somebody is going to help you grow. Other people can be resources to you, but you are the one who has to take ultimate responsibility. You must choose radical responsibility. And here's the difficult part. Here's where most of us resist it. Most of us are comfortable taking responsibility for where we're going. 
right? But radical responsibility requires us to take responsibility for where we are. It is the sum total of our life circumstances and all the choices that we've made, all the behaviors that we've engaged in that have led us to where we are now. And if we're not happy with where we are now, okay, our life circumstances played some kind of role. But, but, all of our behaviors, all of our decisions, all the time we wasted, all the like um, shortcuts we tried to take, all, all the things that we did that were not conducive to living the life that we want to live, to have an outcome that we want to have, those are our responsibility, right? And okay, everything that happened in the past is behind us. We can't change the past. There's no use really dwelling on that past. Like we need to accept it, right? And we need to take responsibility for what has to change if we want a different outcome. And that's our responsibility. My responsibility for my life, your responsibility for your life. And then what's the rush? Something must change. It has to be me. It has to be now. If there is not a sense of urgency to go out and create that change, eh, it can happen tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, right? Uh, it's it, it, Perry Marshall talks about the bleeding neck, that someone tends not to be a great prospect for a product or service unless they have a bleeding neck that needs your product, your service to solve it, right? And that is, like, if you are bleeding out, you're going to go to the emergency room. You don't care what the ambulance ride costs. You don't care what the hospital bill is going to be, right? If you're bleeding out, you need that help. And the bleeding neck is when somebody feels urgently, when you feel urgently, that it is time, that you're fed up with the way things are, that you want, you need things to be different, and you're going to make it happen like now, right? Because if not now, when? If not now, when is it going to happen? So you have to start taking the actions that are required to achieve that goal. And so you can see, you can see how if somebody shows up with some kind of change worker, somebody who, um, whose job is to help other people achieve positive changes in their life, and that person shows up to the change worker and they say, you know, things don't really need to change or I'm not, I'm not willing to take responsibility or, you know, I'm not in any rush to make this happen. They're going to struggle. They're not going to get the result. But if you want to take your business and your life and your career and whatever it is to the next level, if you say, hey, something has to change, like this is the change that I want to see. I'm going to take radical responsibility for it and I'm going to make it happen now. Well, then you're like 80, 90% of the way there because you're going to figure out what the path needs to be, what the actions need to be. You're going to figure out what resources you need. You're going to do what you need to do to get the result that you want to get. Right? And that's ultimately how you take your business and life to the next level is you make the decision and take the actions to get the results that you want. My call to action for you at the end of this episode is to number one, like and subscribe so you get more content like this delivered to you. Number two, ask yourself how you can use this. Are you at threshold for something important for the next level in your life or business? And if you want help dealing with some of the head trash and the internal obstacles that can get in our way, preventing us from taking the actions that we need to take, preventing us from making the commitments that are going to help us create the business and life that we want. I do have training called Training Your Subconscious Success Mechanism. It's a course called Training Your Subconscious Success Mechanism. And I'll include a link in the description to that so you can learn more. I'm Roy Fur. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, and I'll catch you again in the next episode. See you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.